Hello, I'm Louisa and I'm Head of Operations at the British Game Alliance. Uh, we get a lot of questions about who we are and how we operate, so I thought it'd be interesting to talk to some of the team here at the BGA and ask them to tell us a bit about what they do for game shooting. Oh, sorry, for game and for shooting. We'll start off with Liam. Liam is our CEO. Uh, Liam, could you tell us a little bit about the BGA and its mission? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Louisa. Um, so the British Game Alliance um, is driving towards a, uh, a game meat market that is, that is thriving, that is profitable, and that is underpinned by assurance. And this is a vision that we think is important to everyone engaged in game shooting, because the more people who are eating game, the safer game is. And the more broadly game meat is assured, the more confidence the public and the government has in, uh, in, in the game meat industry. Now, we, uh, we see our mission in three parts. We are a, um, a marketing board, we are a development board, and we are an assurance scheme. Now, we've got our head of shooting, um, sorry, our shooter counts manager um, with us. We've got our commercial director with us. They're probably best to tell you about the, the promoting and assuring. Um, so just say a little bit about what we mean by, by development. Uh, we are trying to take the game meat sector and, and, and modernize it, to give it the tools that other food sectors have. So just to take one example from the very recent past, we're building the links between the game meat sector and the food and farming teams within DEFRA. So when crises hit, we've, we've recently had a couple of no deal Brexit um, deadlines, we've had the COVID crisis, we're here to work with officials to make sure that game shooting is represented right there alongside um, other agricultural sectors. Great. Um, so Mark, it'd be great if you're our new commercial director, it'd be great if you could clear up some of the confusion on how the BGA commercial sector works and explain your role within it. Thanks Louisa and also thanks Liam. Following on from Liam's points, it's promote, develop and assure. So I'll look at the, the promotion and part of the developing. So commercially, we look to introduce the end users to feathered game products and producers and stockists to the end users. One of the key areas is to work closely with those end users. Um, as times and tr trends change, we need to understand their needs and their requirements and what they want from game. Um, at the same time, working and liaising closely with the dealers, the producers and the stockists to ensure that the circle's joined up. And we want to get gain on the menus 52 weeks of the year. So it's not just perceived as a winter style product. Um, so look to demonstrate that range and the versatility that gain provides the provenance, its sustainability, and the nutritional attributes. So we develop a range of new and innovative products that cover all aspects of hospitality and retail needs. So covering starters, grazing options, impulse buying retail. The options are huge, and we will continue to develop our recipes and our NPD. Fantastic. So finally, but no means least, um, an integral part of the BGA is making sure we have a strong membership. And um, Sam is our shoot account manager. Could you explain why is it so important that shoots join the BGA? Yeah, thanks very much, Louisa. Um, I think that it, you know, it is so obviously vital in my eyes that shoots are joining the BGA. Um, I believe it's vital that the shoots community unites behind best practice and high welfare with a set of auditable standards. Um, I think it's one of the situations that the more shoots that we have standing up and being counted for doing the right thing, uh, the stronger our position will continue to be in the eyes of the public, in the eyes of government, um, in the eyes of you know, other stakeholders uh, within the shooting community as well. Um, you know, we've obviously recently this year launched our, our game farm assurance scheme as well, which obviously means that now shoots uh, that are buying in their birds know that that's also coming from an assured source as well. So it really gives confidence in the product that not only the shoots are buying, but obviously the end consumer as well, being that the supermarkets, um, they can see a, a real sort of line of traceability all the way through, uh, knowing that each part of the chain has been um, held accountable for to, to, to the way in which they run their operation and making sure that obviously best practice um, and high welfare is at the top of that agenda. So it works in sort of um, it, with a two pronged attack. Not only does it help us ensure that shooting is, is, is put forward in the best light, um, but also for, for the food sector as well, um, they have confidence in, in the end product that we can produce. Brilliant. 
Is there anything else anyone would like to add? No? Well, thank you all so much for giving us an insight into the daily running of the BGA. Um, if anyone who's watched this would like to contact a member of the staff to learn a little bit more about what we do or um, how we can help you sign up your shoot or your food business, please do get in touch. Thank you.